Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Build Monger and welcome to a brand new modded series. Today we are in Minecraft Undiscovered. It's a brand new mod pack. Just came out about a week or so ago, and it looks incredibly promising. So essentially, a few things about this series, about how I'm going to be doing this series, and about the pack in general. This mod pack has all the normal mods. We have thermal expansion, and forestry, and botania, and you know, the norm. But in each, it's essentially its main goal is that it tries to focus a little more heavily on the processes and machines of each mod that typically go unused as well as underused mods in general. So that, that's gonna be really fun. The one thing I'll say about this mod back, and you've probably figured it out by now, by the fact I haven't cut yet, is that I'm gonna be trying a different editing style. Now in my vanilla series, I do tend to cut every minute or so to a new clip, because this started back in the day because I couldn't really do good commentary, I guess. And, uh, now I've gotten slightly better, but still not the best, but, I mean, it's a cool editing style, I find it quite cinematic, and I like it a lot for vanilla. In modded, on the other hand, the problem with it, and I need to find a way to get into this city, uh, but the problem with it in modded is fairly simply that this is going to be more of an informative series. And, oh great, there's a skeleton. But this is going to be more of an informative series rather than a full-on series like that is meant to be cinematic and all kinds of cool stuff. Because, in general, that's not what people look for in modded series. So, simply put, this is going to be a little less cinematic, a little more informative. Now, about that city that I was talking about, it is from a mod called Lost Cities, and the default preset in uh, un Undiscovered is uh, to have them a bit more rare than is normal, and that works really well because, well, I don't want there to be too many cities, I just want there to be a few here and there. And so, you're typically going to spawn near a city, but they don't dominate the landscape everywhere you go. Which I find very useful. Now, the main thing you do have to realize about these cities is that they're haunted. And there are some hostile mobs in various buildings. So, you know, it provides good shelter, but you need to know which building to go into for so many good reasons. But I, I like this spot, there's a city overlooking this red desert. I could definitely do something cool with the red desert, and, you know, it's a free source of red sand, which is a hard material to get. So I'm in. I am so in on this. And, uh, I should mention this is a questing mod pack, and that there is a quest book. I'm gonna complete the quest, but the first quest that actually truly requires completing, and, uh, I thought the sun was setting for a second, good thing it's not. But the first quest that truly requires completing is uh, getting 16 logs. So that is my first goal right now. That is actually the reason why I am not checking out the quests. It's because I don't have the value, the valid like number of logs. Right now, we can get it, but you know what, I want to chop down this log for symmetry, darn it. And uh, now, we can get into the quests. So, over here, this is just a basic guide, it tells you a bit about the lore, and uh, there's the three types of quests. This is a lore quest, essentially, it just adds lore. We won't really be reading these. Uh, the main quests have these uh, this fancy shape, and they denote things that you need to do to get through. The side quests are useful items to have, but typically aren't very useful. And by the way, I can actually now turn in, first of all, this lore quest I'm just going to get rid of, and uh, I'm going to submit this, I said submit, 
Did it count? Uh, yes, it did. And uh, there are plenty of other lore quests that uh, I can just check off. But now what it wants me to do is get a few storage items. But what I, what I want to do is actually get into one of these buildings. Now, this building, just judging my journey map, one of these two buildings has an incredibly high concentration of hostile mobs. I don't think this is one of those, but I wouldn't want to go in the basement just because. And uh, up here, I don't know. There are cobwebs, but that's standard. Some of them have spawners in them, which I don't want. So, let me see, go up a floor. Same general thing. So I am actually gonna kind of set up here. There are these furnaces or droppers. These are furnaces. All right, that's good. I actually didn't check if the furnace recipe has changed, but it actually doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, they require iron. It's a bit better than the compressed cobblestone that Infinity Evolved had to offer. That's for sure. But I've gotten wood planks and I can just start making myself stuff. By the way, uh, I can't turn that into essentially, I, I just can't turn this uh, li this crafting table into a crafting station because there's basically no tinkers. Now I can pick any one of these little storage options. I can get a wooden box, I can get a barrel, or a cabinet, or a pot, which I don't think I'm getting because uh, it requires clay, but it looks super cool. So let's see how much the box requires compared to the others. Okay, that's a uh, fairly decent, but let me check out the barrel. Um, uh, I like that because what you can do is just uh, make one round of slabs and you can make three barrels out of it. One, two, three. And that will also complete the quest over here. And uh, another lore quest. I don't need another storage thing. I don't need also. One thing I realize I don't have right now that I really, really need to get. But first, uh, bro bookmark this as home. I really, really need just to get me a few. Uh, no, no. I, I'm meant to open the door, not the quest book. Just a little bit more. Oh, that's really nice. There's an astral sorcery thing, but I digress. Uh, I just need some wool. <laughs> Essentially, I, I'm, I'm umming and eyeing. All I need is wool. And because we're in a city, I've noticed this as actually a possibility. We can actually, all right, uh, I'm going to need to make a crafting table because I'm wasteful and a loser and forgot to pick one up. And uh, now what we can do is just make ourselves a little bit of a wooden sword and start scavenging for cobwebs. Now, I don't think the subway is a good idea. I'm just going to, yeah, yeah, no. But there are cobwebs in most of the buildings and that is very useful because I see no sheep. I see zero sheep. So I could just start like slashing with my sword, gathering these cobwebs, and I'll actually have somewhere to sleep for the night if uh, I get 12. What's funny about these lost cities is these chests just randomly appear out of nowhere and you have no idea where they come from. It's a little bit odd. I don't think there's very much. Oh my gosh, uh, can I pick this up without a uh, iron pick? It appears I can. That's really nice. I love that. But just sort of scavenge. And already we almost have enough for a full wool block. We actually have pretty much a quarter of what we need. So going up a floor, let me see if there are any cobwebs up here. I will not go into the basements simply because they're the basements, they're dark, they spawn mobs. As I've mentioned, these cities can and will be a bit haunted. I think we should try other buildings just because, well, this one, I think of dug out and it's really getting to be sunset uh, so I sort of need to find myself more stuff flax that's incredibly I have eight string now that's enough for two wool so all I need 
is another piece of wool, which is likely going to be, oh man, I haven't even checked out my hunger. I need to kill these pigs and I'm gonna essentially just cook their meat in my uh, cheatily acquired furnace. Yeah, so I can actually just uh, take four more cobwebs, I believe, from other floors of this. Oh, great. Um, the just general uh, lighting system in here, it's getting worse by the night. Uh, but whatever. Um, other cobwebs, guys? I just need two more now. I can actually make this better. I don't want to have to leave this building. I also don't want to... Uh, well, I can take it. The, uh, the table blocks actually seem fairly durable for this, maybe. Uh, the glass broke, I think. The table definitely broke. But still only three string. Uh, alright. Well, I just need one more, guys. Don't make me go down to the basement where I can already see creepers. Um... I can see two creepers here. Llamas don't drop wool, I don't think. I don't exactly want to test that. Because they are hostile and they ag they aggro at you. Um, oh, look. Look right here. Look right here. Perfect. And my wooden sword's already broken. Ah, perfect timing. Because that wood sword actually broke before this. It's fine. They did not change the bed recipe. I'm aware of that. I checked that pretty much as soon as I got the pack because that's sometimes a deal breaker for me. Huh. I wonder if there is anywhere in here there aren't monsters nearby. If you look, there's like an absolutely massive cluster of monsters around here that is just sort of in my way. I don't know if height makes any difference with these monsters nearby thing. But it appears I found a good place to sleep. So that works perfectly. Now, let me uh, figure out what I have to do. And I'll get back to you. Because there will be a few cuts, just not that many. So, picking up that furnace has actually opened up this, uh, finally furnace quest. So, I bypassed a little of the progression. But I don't really get is how you're supposed to get a furnace without the cities because uh if you look at the furnace recipe it requires uh i'm uh, oh i just need to click on it requires stone and uh to be fair iron as well because uh yeah i think you i think the point is to get that from iron berries actually but stone uh i think you can yeah, you can strain it, it appears, and that seems for Oh, yeah, no you can't, because it uh, requires immersive engineering. Whatever, I bypassed a lot with the furnace, it appears, and uh, if anyone can correct me on how to actually get the furnace without it, I would like to hear it. But regardless, uh, it appears that I'm just going to go through the quests. So, small storage crate, compartment, iron chest... There are, there are plenty of plenty of things to get, but I think the best uh, thing to get right now is a small storage crate, or I don't really know what that requires, but let's see. It requires a lot. A lot. Uh, I think this quest is actually meant to be a uh, quest to complete later. Might be wrong. Um, and I can check this probably. And, uh... I, I think this is, yeah, this is, uh, this is about a crushing tub, uh, that's gonna be probably pretty important, I think, let me just double check how to make it, wood casing, requires a wood log, which I conveniently turned all of mine into planks, uh, that's kind of a big drop, uh, still slightly prone to dying, I don't, no, I, I don't think this is the best way of doing it. Uh, let me just nab a log from this tree. I I can see a lot of you just screaming, Build monger, why the heck are you just taking a random log? But trust me, that tree will be chopped down when its time comes. 
it's time is not now. So I believe I can just climb up this vine and get back to my pseudo house. By the way, this is made of these temple blocks, which are fairly decent. I used them in a build way back in FTB Horizons, which only lasted one episode. But whatever, it uh, all works out. Let me just check the crushing tub. Just wood slab, wood casing. Uh, speaking of wood, I, I, I don't have my crafting table with me down here. I can easily just make one. A second crafting table I made, even though there's little to no shortage in the city itself. Eh, good job doing that, Buildmonger. You're gonna do fine at this mod pack, said no one ever. So, uh, this, uh, this crushing tub, I need the wood casing, I need sticks, just make a sticks, and, uh, a sticks, that's a great way of speaking, whatever. So make this wood casing, make the crushing tub, and that completes a quest, which, uh, alright, get that, and you know what, let me actually see, I can, I can do this, but that doesn't really do anything, uh, what, alright, so there is a little bit of stuff here and here, this is complex, alright, I'm gonna look into the thing in a little bit, but let, let's just follow the craftsman quest line for now, alright guys? Alright, so, wine. I need a wine barrel and an ironberry juice bucket. Now, from what I know, uh, iron berries come from iron wood. By the way, I am so hungry and my health is doing terribly, so yeah, I, I need to kill some things and the best way to kill them without access to a sword, because my sword broke, is not to craft a new sword, even though a lot of people may agree that that is the case. It's actually to hit them over and over again with the wooden pickaxe while randomly and rapidly breaking grass. Okay, that also broke when I hit the mob, but it gets me one of these, and I can put these pressure plates in. Meanwhile, I think I'll just make myself another wooden sword. That's probably a a fairly decent idea if I'm out killing pigs. These pork chops, uh, they only give one hunger. And, uh, I might actually sort of try and remove this whole, like, type of hindering, hindrance, or whatever the actual word is meant to be. I don't care about grammar. I'm the build longer. But, whatever. Uh, the point is, I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if I'm gonna remove that. I'm probably not going to, but it's always a possibility because uh, I've always found hunger mods quite annoying. So that's something. Uh, let me do this. Put in some other assorted wood products. Oh my gosh! I got a soul gem. Now I I don't really know what those do, but I think it's something to store in this barrel. All right. So yeah, that is something. And, uh, alright, so, getting back to the iron berry kerfuffle, I need to find an ironwood tree, if I'm ever going to do any of this. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna try and do some of this in between episodes. But, for now, guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you later. Peace.